Hello everyone, welcome back to another Tuesday Tech Tip here at 45 Drive. So uh, Brett's here. So what are we gonna talk about this week? Well, we'll start first by talking about what we talked about last week. Uh, we launched our 2Use Tornado platform. Um, SATA coming very soon, NVMe in the new year. So a lot of you guys were excited and uh, we say thank you for that because we're excited too. Um, but there was a lot of excitement for NVMe as well too. So uh, we figured we'd hop back in this week and for those so excited about NVMe and didn't quite want to wait for the new year, we wanted to show you how you can get it now because actually you can use some NVMe in all our current Stornator products. So I'll tell you how. All right, so NVMe in all our current products. There's your thumbnail. No, I'm just kidding. Um, how do we do that, right? Well, we do it with the great help of this guy here, this NVMe M.2 carrier card. Plugs into the PCIe slot. You can install four of these in the card designed for the 4U chassis, or we also have a two bay version of this where it's 2U and you can fit it in the MI4C8 or this thing when it, if you need to. Um, that accommodates all the various lengths of M.2 sticks, but uh, any of our current Stornator products can, can support one of these things. So now you might be wondering, um, what's it useful for? Uh, as, as one of our sales architects put it so eloquently, um, a little bit of NVMe goes a long way. This is really fast storage and it complements hard drive storage very, very well. It actually even complements SSD SATA storage really well. But where we use it a lot, um, is in our Ceph clusters and in ZFS arrays. So with uh, Ceph clusters, um, there are a lot of the data pools we call service pools, whether it's the CephFS metadata or a lot of the S3 buckets that need, they don't actually take that much storage space, but they're heavily hit, so it can greatly benefit from being put on NVMe disks. So maybe you wanna have your big S3 storage bucket on spinners or maybe spinner SATA hybrid journal drives but then you put all the S3 service pools, like the index pool, the, the metadata pools, all the stuff that you need to like look up stuff, you put it on NVMEs and things actually go way faster. It just kind of feels smoother. Um, so that's Ceph or, or Ceph metadata. Uh, Ceph metadata is kind of, is, is where all the metadata of the file system stored. Not usually, in most cases, it doesn't actually get that big. So it can be greatly benefited to be putting those on NVMe drives. So um, that's how we use these things in our existing Ceph clusters or in a ZFS array. Uh, so you have a, um, an all spinning, um, all spinning array. You can use this thing as an L2 arc. You can use it as a special VDEV. That's where it, the, it really comes in handy. Um, I think we've got some other videos on special VDEVs. We've got resources, we'll link something below. But the point is, is the special VDEV almost offloads the metadata. Notice the kind of uh, theme here put your metadata on fast stuff, put all your data on slower stuff. Um, so ZFS, we can use this as a special VDEV, offload a bunch of metadata, and the file lookups and everything like that, they just go quick, snap, snap. Um, yeah, so that's a good place. That's, that's, that's a kind of quick explanation of where these things can be useful. We can stick it into a PCI slot right next to the NICS, right next to the HBA. All the airflow that we pump through the, through the cards keeps them as nice and cool. Um, pumps through the motherboard chassis, sorry. And uh, I guess I'll end with uh, a little story, a, a success, a win. Um, we have uh, an existing customer, uh, audio video kind of video editing post shop, and they've been a, life, uh, a long time customer with ours, and with us, sorry, my words. Anyway, whatever. Uh, that's not what we're here for. We're here for tech tips, not, not eloquent speaking. Um, anyway, this company, they, uh, they, uh, had a big array and they had, the way they were doing their projects, they had massive amounts of data in one ZFS data set, like hundreds of thousands of files and directories. So if anyone who's got a little experience with that might go, oh yeah, it probably takes a while to list everything out or to search it. And uh, this is what they were experiencing. So they reached out to us and they said, what can we do about this? Well, we installed a couple of these in their machines and we created a special VDEV on their ZFS array, offloaded the metadata over there and um, mind you the details, we had to make a new data set and start a new project, but it really worked in their workflow. And uh, now it was, I think their report back was like two to three or three to five times faster and they were over the moon excited. So 
like I said earlier at the beginning of this, a little bit of NVMe goes a long way. So whether you're a new customer and you want to accelerate your storage from the start or you're an existing customer and you want to give it a little, little, little hit the Nas button, then uh, NVMe and our, our M.2 NVMe's and our carrier cards will, uh, well, will do that. All right, so with all that said, if you're an existing customer and you want to accelerate your, um, your, your storage pool, your storage array, your storage cluster with some NVMe, reach out to your account manager or, or submit a support ticket. We'll make sure that uh, you get looked after. If you're a new customer who wants to hit the ground running with some um, hybrid SSD, NVMe, spinner, whatever you can dream up, reach out, quote with us, all the great ways you can, you can reach out to talk to 45 Drives and we'll make sure you get what you're looking for. So if you can't wait for the new year for the all NVMe machine, a little bit goes a long way with a bit of a carrier card and you can accelerate all our current solutions, both CFS boxes and Seth Club.